Okay, so the very last part of this simple IK setup, simple um, reverse foot setup, sorry, uh, is just to join in these pole vectors. So uh, when this foot rotates, you can sort of see that we can bring it up. We can kind of do some different things here, but the the knees won't actually follow this pole vector. So we're going to set that up. All right. So uh, how do we do that? Well. It's pretty easy. Um, now, just first of all, let's take note that these pole vectors are sitting there as per usual with controls. Uh, we can see that we've grouped that control so that the um, control stays all zeroed out. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to constrain, and this time we want to constrain the IK uh, handle. That's how we set pole vectors up. So we set, we constrain the IK handle by our pole vector constraint to this guy. So the the order that we select is the control first, then we come in here and we select the actual IK uh, effector, let's hit F to find those, there we go, the knee pole vector control to the IK handle that's underneath the ankle, and then we can come up here and we can go uh, constrain pole vector, and pole vectors are very simple, there's usually not much to do there, so you can just add that, done. And you can now see that that will sort of snap and the knee is now following, so that's great, that's a really good setup. Now, uh, if we rotate the leg out, the knee now wants to keep following this uh, pole vector. So usually what we do is we actually parent the pole vector to the control down here. Now, uh, we could just parent that in like by grabbing that control and actually just dragging and drop it on the foot control and that would work. But uh, then we have this problem, and I'll demonstrate that. If we drag it onto that. Uh, this will work. I mean, everything works correctly the way that we want it to. However, uh, now when we select this uh, foot, this one also turns green. And so it's very hard to see if we've got both the pole vector and that selected or, or which way this is selected. So we're just going to undo this. And a much cleaner way of doing this is simply to uh, use the parent constraints. So we're going to constrain this group control uh, to that control, to the foot control. And the way that we do this is we select the foot control first and then we come over here and we actually have to kind of Apple if you're on a, on a Mac or you, you need to select uh, control, select that um, <coughs> knee pole vector group. So selecting this foot control first and then the, the pole vector group second. Come over here to our menu and we go constrain, parent constraint option box, we need to make sure maintain offset is ticked on and it is, so let's click apply and now when we select this you see that one turns pink which is good because it knows that there's a, a link here but we know it's not selected and now this will move in the way that we desire it so that's the very simple version of the um, of the IK I'm sorry, of the reverse foot simple reverse foot sort of set up nice and easily uh, what we're going to do now is um, go through and continue to build on this and add on in all the advanced controls.